there. Thank you for watching this video about PCC's Climate Action Plan update. We are inviting you to take a moment of silence with us for the people impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, the uncertainty it brings to our lives, and the devastation that this pandemic is causing in Portland and the world around us. My name is Briar. I am the PCC Sustainability Manager, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. I also have my colleague, Steph, with me. Hi, Steph. Hi, Briar. I am the PCC Sustainability Analyst. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. We are privileged to be able to continue this work from our homes. In these unusual circumstances, we believe it is vital for us to continue with our roles in supporting a world where all life will thrive and to actively stop perpetuating harm on the ecosystems that we all depend on. Part of this work for us is updating PCC's Climate Action Plan, and we have adapted our outreach and engagement strategies and timeline to give the opportunity for the entire PCC community to participate, much of which will be done remotely. We have made significant strides in our climate action progress, and it is now time to update our 2013 Climate Action Plan also referred to as the CAP. In addition to building off the progress we have already made, the updated CAP will include science-based targets for carbon neutrality, address local inequities exacerbated by climate change, emphasize resiliency, and center equity in both the engagement process and mitigation strategies. This video will provide you with information on these parts of PCC's 2020 Climate Action Plan update process. We welcome your thoughts and feedback on this process and will describe how you can contribute ideas or find more information at the end of this video. We'd like to start this presentation with a land acknowledgement. This acknowledgement is meant to build critical consciousness and address the ongoing erasure of Native American and Indigenous peoples. We say their specific names in hopes that we do our best to learn about each unique tribal nation and persons. I invite you to listen to this acknowledgement sit with it for a moment and reflect on what it means to you that we are sitting on stolen land, particularly for those of us that are settlers. The campuses and centers of Portland Community College rest on the traditional village sites of Multnomah, Kathlamet, and Clackamas bands of the Chinook, Tualatin, and Kalapuya, Malala, and many other tribes who made their homes along the Columbia River. Multnomah is a band of Chinooks that lived in this area. We thank the descendants of these tribes for being the original stewards and protectors of these lands since time immemorial. We also acknowledge that Portland, Oregon has one of the largest urban Native American populations in the United States with over 380 federally recognized tribes represented in the urban Portland metropolitan area. We also acknowledge the systemic policies of genocide, relocation, and assimilation that still impact many Indigenous and Native American families today. We are honored by the collective work of many Native nations, leaders, and families who are demonstrating resilience, resistance, revitalization, healing, and creativity. We are honored to be guests upon these lands. Thank you, and thanks also to our colleagues at Portland State University Indigenous Nations Studies Program for crafting this acknowledgement. Thank you, Steph. This video will provide a high-level overview of the Climate Action Plan update process that is underway now and will be ongoing through fall of 2020. It will include an outline of the scope and focus of the Climate Action Plan update, as well as provide information on ways to get engaged. PCC created its first Climate Action Plan in 2009 and then updated the plan in 2013. We have made significant strides to reach the goals set out in this plan, which include a commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions 40% below 2006 levels by 2030 and 80% below 2006 levels by 2050. In fact, we have bypassed and outgrown many of the goals and strategies included in the 2013 version. So the time has come to build off these efforts and ensure a continued alignment with the college mission and current planning efforts through an update to our Climate Action Plan. Working with the Boston-based firm Greener U on this update, we strive to create a plan that addresses the needs of our community 
that also aligns with planning efforts of the college, the city of Portland, and our greater region. The overall goals of the 2020 Climate Action Plan update process are to update our district-wide climate action plan with the addition of a resiliency section, center equity throughout the entire process, foster inclusive stakeholder engagement, use science-based targets to create actionable steps towards greenhouse gas mitigation, and align with previous and ongoing campus planning efforts, as well as broader efforts and PCC commitments, including Second Nature's carbon commitment, and we are still in. The scope of this updated climate action plan will be district-wide, covering PCC's four campuses and all of its centers. As an essential theme of PCC's mission and strategic plan, sustainability is deeply ingrained in everything that we do at the college, weaved through operations, academics, and student life. As signatories of the Second Nature Carbon Commitment, PCC is dedicated to reducing its carbon footprint. One way we address this is through green building practices and a commitment to renewable energy, which have helped reduce our scope one and two emissions by 33%. By incorporating sustainability into PCC's curriculum and offering a Student Sustainability Focus Award, we are training tomorrow's leaders in sustainability and climate justice. Our students continue to lead the charge with over $1.1 million spent to date on student-funded sustainability programs through the Eco-Social Justice Grant. This provides funding for projects like our learning gardens, bike rental system, natural building projects, and has helped launch our Eco-Social Justice Student Leader Program. The college also engages in regional and international efforts to promote sustainability, participating as a founding member of the Greater Portland Sustainability Education Network, working to implement the UN Sustainable Development Goals, and as a member of the We Are Still In Coalition. Collectively, these efforts and more have made PCC the number one community college for sustainability in the United States among institutions that report to the Association for the Advancement of Sustainability in Higher Education's Sustainability Tracking Assessment and Rating System, also referred to as STARS. PCC's 2020 Climate Action Plan will hone the momentum created from these efforts into longer-term goals, while ensuring that the current and future work at PCC is done intentionally and equitably in support of the college's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Here are a few of the ways that PCC sustainability is framing equity in climate action. We acknowledge the role environmental racism and inequitable funding of climate solutions plays in today's existing conditions for marginalized communities. We seek to advance historically marginalized and oppressed voices in the decision-making process. We will support students in having a voice in the regional discussion on climate change and resiliency. We will address how risks from climate change impact equitable student success. We will prioritize strategies that advance racial and social justice. We will consider past and present disparities and support place-based equity in choosing projects and in setting priorities. Throughout the PCC Climate Action Plan update process, we plan to be intentional in our work and use various strategies and tools to ensure that the 2020 cap is rooted in equity and social justice. Here are some of the ways that we plan to do this. Apply PCC equity tools throughout stakeholder engagement, as well as strategy development and prioritization. Utilize consensus-based decision-making. Host an evaluator throughout the PCC community engagement process to identify unintended consequences, check in regularly with the Office of Equity and Inclusion, and hire a firm whose work supports our equity goals. PCC's updated Climate Action Plan will set new reduction targets for Scope 1, Scope 2, and Scope 3 emissions and will outline short-term and long-term steps to meet the college's goals. All of these goals will be backed by science-based targets that model the potential ecological and social destruction caused by rising global temperatures. These goals will also support local and regional climate targets and advance climate justice principles. 
Part of the update will also include refreshing the education and outreach strategies to emphasize workforce development and curricular innovation in support of climate action and to empower students as future sustainability leaders. These goals will build off existing programs and expand partnerships for sustainability education and engagement, all of which will seek alignment with the college's Yes to Equitable Student Success initiative. A new component of the Climate Action Plan will be resiliency, defined by second nature as increasing the ability to survive disruption and to anticipate, adapt, and flourish in the face of change. The resiliency section will support campus preparation for anticipated climate change related impacts, such as water shortages, more frequent significant weather impacts, and an increase in poor air quality days, for example, and outline goals to enhance the college's ability to adapt and survive disruption. This section will also highlight how local inequities are magnified by climate change and emphasize strategies that support our most impacted students. As we film this video, we are wrapping up our phase one, which is gathering information on the current state of PCC's sustainability and progress to date on meeting our climate action goals. This project will continue on to the next phase, which includes stakeholder engagement and gathering input that will help inform a draft of the update. This will include an online survey, virtual listening sessions, and other opportunities. Once a draft is created, we will ask for community feedback to inform the final form of the 2020 Climate Action Plan. We know everything is in flux right now, so we are focusing on phases rather than strict timelines, and our hope is to have a final updated Climate Action Plan sometime in the fall of 2020. The breakdown of the project phases are as follows. Phase one data gathering and current state assessment. Phase two, main stakeholder engagement. Phase three, drafting of the climate action plan. Phase four, opportunity for feedback and finalizing of the 2020 climate action plan. To summarize, the climate action plan will translate PCC's greenhouse gas emissions information and the input from all members of the PCC community into the goals and action items of the updated CAP. We need your help to do this. We're excited to have your input and participation in updating PCC's Climate Action Plan. For more information, please visit pcc.edu forward slash climate action or get in touch with us at sustainability at pcc.edu or stay connected with us through social media. Thank you for your interest in learning more about PCC's Climate Action Plan update process. We hope you found this video informative and we hope to connect with you soon.